Holy crap. Holy crap. What the hell? That was probably the best thing I've ever had. Wow. Oh my god. Guys, I'm kinda lit. Dude, what the hell? This is the best blood broth I've ever had. What the fuck did I just eat? What the fuck is this? And as you see, um, two of these is the um, wine pairing with five glasses in the first set and the price. And the second set is the uh, three glasses. Also with the price in Vietnamese. Is that this beer pairing? Yes. Okay. With the beer pairing, we, we serve the uh, local craft beer okay. in Saigon. Uh, also with five glass pair with the menu. Okay. okay. I just do the beer pairing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we will start your tasting journey. Okay, thank you. Flavor and it have the name Bengal Umbers mm. and uh, it will go with the the, the four dishes of the first snacking. When you finish the first snacking, he will change another beer for you. Come on. Two part. The first part you will have the uh, paprika pepper and the sauce made from two kinds of the lemon. Uh, the first one is the white lemon and the black one is lemon brewed with the uh, family charcoal. And the second one, the brew, is uh, brewed with the shallot. On the top is kimchi crackers. And the third one we have is sashimi salmon and uh, rolled with the daikon, a kind of the Japanese white bread dish and the sauce made from the uh, green apple and the white dog is uh, scallop mayonnaise and the last one you will have is amaibi brine from Japan sauce made from chorizo sausage oil uh, with little, adding a little bit of the uh, pickle mushroom and smoked salmon roll okay. uh, you will start with the oyster two kinds of the uh, brine okay. salmon and the amaibi brine okay. how should I eat this? Uh, oh, just one bite? Or? Just bite. Okay. Just, just one bite? Um, any bite you want. Okay. okay. <laughs> so we have uh, instruction card. If you're interested, you need to. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. Cheers. Ooh. So that's first. And now it's the shrimp. I can't even. That was the best shrimp head that I've ever had in my life. 
holy crap. Like it's loaded with all juices. Next is um a salmon with daikon. This small dot. It's mayonnaise, but it tastes like something I've had before. Yes. Mmm. It's interesting. It's like a smoked cured salmon, but very light. With hints of lime. A maybe, a maybe, a maybe chorizo. Oh, there is some fish eggs in here. Mmm. Right? Smells very sweet. Holy crap. It really tastes like brown chorizo. What the? It's not focusing on me. Mmm. Shrimp is very creamy. Holy crap. That was good. Four courses now. 15 to go. Dude, I want this sauce over rice. This is the second beer we have today from Tom Brewery and it has a coffee glam flavor. Oh. Coffee clam player uh, is really one type of fruit from Engel Vietnam. And when you finish the beef pho, we will change another beer for you. Okay. Come on. So uh, this is your second hot making. We start with the so we scattered all the sauce. Besides, we have a coffee garlic. Next, we use the cottage, so we do a lui and salad. And the last, we have the pho, so we drain out the sauce. Okay, I'm excited. How the heck do I eat this? The plate is still warm. Oh, okay. So I'll just put this in my mouth. Mmm. Mm. That was probably the best thing I've ever had. I love eel. You guys know when you have eel, the skin is like that fatty piece? Oh man, and it was just like perfectly chewy, but still soft. Mm. And no scarlet. <gasps> spicy. Wait, but then I wonder what, what, does, what does this taste like? Well, it's a, clearly a garlic. Oh, it's like raw garlic. It tastes like raw garlic. But it's not overwhelming. That's where the spice is coming from. This. Some sort of food with apples? Pears? I think it's pears. Pears and capers. Okay. Oh, time for the fish. Okay, this. Focus. It's like fish and chips. Wow. Okay, I have everything in this bite. Mm. The 
This is so. Oh my god. I don't know how to eat this. Um, I don't know how to eat this. I've never had frog lava before. Okay. I'm gonna just shoot this and then chase it. I'm in college. It's so weird. I think it was it's frog or apple. I think it was like an apple foam. I didn't really taste apple. That bread, once I chase it with that bread, I bit onto that leaf on top. Some that leaf is like concentrated with something. Okay, <clears throat> okay. yeah, that was interesting. Guys, I'm kind of lit after two beers. Uh, this is your first palate with the ham ice cream and cinnamon granita. Wait, I should just eat. Oh. What the hell? Okay, so the ice is cinnamon. I see him so crazy. <laughs> I don't even think it's ice cream. <gasps> it's because it's ice and this is literally cream. That's why they call it ice cream. Because it's ice and it's cream. It's like a mousse and whipped cream. No, that's definitely ice cream. That's not cream. Dude, what the hell? It literally tastes like it could be a tea. We have here the dish that was inspired by the Vietnamese traditional food, which is the pho. And in front of you is the uh, pho broth with um, basil oil. And then inside we have the pho fat with the red white Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Mm. This is the best pho broth I've ever had. Oh no! <laughs> we have today from Mictap Brewery and it has the name California Sun and it has orange flavor. And when you finish the lobster and scallions, you can is the lorry seaweed to go with the dango, a kind of the wine radish and a sauce made from the sunflower seed paste and the seaweed also. What the hell? 
So quirky. The sawtooth is so delicate, but it still holds like it still holds together. And very nice and firm. Um, this one is fancy scallop with applesauce and. Uh, salt, salt tooth uh, oil. Uh, on the top we have the uh, sca scallop crackers with basil mayonnaise. On the side is the cauliflower pudding. Thank you. Ooh, the sauce is very buttery. Holy crap! Mm. It's like a fish. Mm. Dude, that scallop is cooked perfectly. Holy cow. This cracker, holy crap. I'm not a fan of the herbs that they added, but I think it adds a good bitterness to cut that butter sauce. Okay, so the green sauce, they um took like the guts of the lobster and period. And then the dot is the garlic aioli. Mm. I don't know what this sauce is, the orange one. I think it's like some cheese, which makes sense because cheese is on lobster. But I don't know what cheese it is. Like cheddar and something mixed together because it's orange. Okay, but. I should try it with the pineapple. I'm not a fan of pineapple. Mm. The pineapple cuts that cheese sauce really well. But personally, I like my flavors really heavy. flavor of lemon peel so mm. we pairing with the meat course today mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. yogurt so we got some sauce and a little citrus on it Thank you. Is this olive oil? No way, right? It is olive oil. So it's not as creamy. It tastes like Vietnamese yogurt, 
where it's like still kind of smushy when you freeze it. The layers of uh, ice. I don't know. Like it starts off really weird, but then it mellows out. Interesting. So um, we have here the fancy pigeon biscuits uh, with a sauce uh, that made from uh, Rurusa indica and on the side we have wild uh, vegetables from Yalai uh, and the drumstick we agree with the teriyaki sauce and on top is onion tree uh, After we finish the dish, we end with the um, pigeon broth with Chinese spices Vision. Mm. Mm. It's like only two pieces of cooking the veggies. Mm. It kind of tastes like um, the beef wrapped in uh, grape leaves, like a deconstructed version of it. That pigeon leg was better than the, um, the breast. Pigeon broth. I think that's shirataki mushrooms. This is very good. I think this ends this dish very properly. The boil line can be a tea, like a tea broth. Thank you. That's potato. Tada. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Mmm. Mmm. The sauce is like a very, um, smoky version of eel sauce. Okay, this meat's kind of tough. Not gonna get mine. Still cutting. Still cutting. Mm. 
this was like a rolled up potato. Everything in one bite. The onion is in the back. This is well cooked stuff. Fluffy but chewy too. Ooh. The outside is just crispy enough. Nice. This is the last entree, so I'm gonna be sad after. Mm. Even though it's hard to cut, it's still soft. And now this sauce. So we pairing with the dessert. Mm. Thank you. So inside is the donut mousse and outside natural lemon. We also have dog uh, lemon ice cream with the whiskey. Yeah, and this is the lemon ready to. Thank you. Chinese. Oh, whiskey. Oh no, it's not this thing. Ice cream for this? Mmm. Yeah, that's mine. Oh, it's supposed to be like a coconut. So this ice is in tennis line. And then this ice cream, it's like a lighter version of that. Mm. I think this is like a coconut mousse. It's very airy. Right, let's try mixing everything together. I feel like you shouldn't do that. It kind of tastes like everything like just cancelled each other out. <laughs> so weird. Yeah, everything literally just cancelled each other out. And it kind of tastes like... Slight coconut.
style with lychee, aloe vera, and green scone on top a uh, mango mango gel. And we, next we have golden berry some sweet brown butter. And the last the aloe flower yogurt some fish. Thank you. This is, oh no, kitchen mochi. Ooh, like literally just a foam. Ooh, so it's like a, I think it's mango. Oh, it's definitely leaching on the bottom. Mm. It's very foamy. It's warm. Oh, there's something hard in here. I don't know what this is. Yeah, cone was probably the best dessert I've ever had. And then I think the unagi was the best one, or the second best. Uh, I thought it was the first best until I had the the pho. The white yeah. There's an A4, A4 white Okay, Th that was in the the bowl pho. Yeah. With the shadow. Yeah. The the beef ball. Yeah. That was a beef ball. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's why it was. Yeah. It was very soft. Yeah. It's all from Japan. Okay. It's, uh, gotcha. Gotcha. And then the um the ice cream cone, the mango, was probably yes. my favorite of the three. Lychee and aloe vera. Mm. Yeah. That's ice cream. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was lychee on the bottom. Um, was it lychee on the bottom? Um. Yeah. The lychee. Aloe vera. Okay, aloe vera. Oh, okay, okay. So it was a mango on top? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. There's a game. Mm, okay, yeah. yeah. It was really good. <laughs> yeah. It was really good. <laughs> hmm? the, the brown butter, the egg. Yeah, the brown butter. What was in the center? Uh, was it the egg? Before, yeah, I had. What was the center? Was the egg? Yes. Oh. There's, there's a uh, great kind of sauce made from the egg. Holidays, a kind of the uh, more sauce from France. Yeah. And the brown butter. Oh. Three golden berries, low of the cups. Oh, so you guys use. It was a, um, a berry in the center? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, the, uh, okay. of the yeah the sauce was very good. I, I, I never had the berry before, so I was uh, very confused. <laughs> yes. um, but it was really good, yeah. It's a little bit, little bit sour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think the it, it worked well with the butter. Because the butter is very rich. Yes. Yeah. It's too rich for you. Hmm? It's too rich for you. No, no, no. Um, I, think, I think it was like a very good... Um, very. Because I like very heavy foods. Yes. So, yeah, yeah I think it was very good. How about beer? The I'm not a beer person. <laughs> um, I, I couldn't... It, it, I couldn't say anything. It's dark or too strong for um, beer. Because I, it's a from the uh, local, from mm. 
I think in terms of um, I, th- I felt the alcohol. I think that's good. Because um, normally with beer, it takes me a lot yeah. to like get drunk. But th- I think like after the second one, I'm like, <laughs> what's going on? There? It was just a lot going on.